Okay, you've logged into Onshape and we're going to create our first sheet metal part. So we go to create and we create a new document. Call it sheet metal project one. We start like a regular drawing, but we're drawing the inside, what the sheet metal is going to contain. There's lots of ways to do it, but that's a, a good easy start. So we're going to do a sketch on top of the top plane. I'm going to right click and view normal to sketch plane. And I'm going to draw a rectangle from the center point. So I click on the center point, bring it out. 75 by 45 tick I'm going to extrude that 40 mil oops 40 mil tick I want to put a sloped angle on the front top corner. I'll use a chamfer for that and pick the corner. I'll do it two distances, so it might be 45 degrees. It'll be 25 down and um, 35 back. Should look pretty good. Yep, just what I wanted. Tick. I'm going to do a sketch on that face, so I'm going to right click, new sketch, right click again and then view normal to sketch plane. Straight down, zoom in. I'm going to put a whole bunch of lines on here, there's lots of ways I could do it, you might have your own method, but I want to end up with eight holes, four along here and four along here, all aligned, all fairly neat and tidy, all 10 mil diameter. I'm going to use construction lines for that. So I pick construction and then line. And uh, the first one I'm going to do is the middle. It'll lock into the midpoint. I'll hit escape to get out of that tool and I'll do it again. Up here, from that face to that face, the little line tells me that I'm going horizontal. Construction, line, edge. Um, problem with that line was that it was linking up with the origin causing a few constraints I could have deleted them but that was a quicker way now if your lines aren't construction lines you need to select them and hit construction now back to our dimensions middle point to that line 9 mil oh, might go a bit further than that might go 10 this time and I could dimension the same thing up there but I'll use a symmetric tool and I'll go symmetric, this line, this line, I want it evenly placed around that line. Okay, I'm going to do four more. So down here, no, it's a normal line, so I'm going to pick it and change it to construction line. Do another one, avoid this origin, do it over here. sure they're vertical and down there okay got to do a bit of spacing I'll do that with my dimension tool and I'll go from this line okay 15 guessed it 15 okay I'm gonna do some circles on each of these intersections okay and they're gonna be 10 mil diameter 10 mil I could use an array for that but it's good practice for you I'm not in a, not a competition for speed I 
lot of things we do in class are purely repetitive so you get some good practice in and you'll get faster as you go and you'll get little shortcuts okay so I've got eight holes I'm tick that just move it so you can see and I'm going to do an extrude down there so extrude that sketch go the other way remove 20 mil so I don't go through the bottom of my unit and tick now if some of you have lost your planes that's the P key turns them on and off um, I'll leave them off for a little bit now we've got our solid sort of uh, mold we're going to make a sheet metal project out of this so sheet metal tools are up here I'm going to start by making a new sheet metal model what part do we want well what part we just drew now we do need to exclude some faces okay our sheet metal is not going to go into those holes they're just holes so I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick all those. I'm going to pick the last one, a little button will appear. The whole lot's changed. If I go along here, I can see all the parts, separate parts, but they're there. Now, I need to get rid of the bottom of these. not going to be in my project now if you've ever made anything out of sheet metal or acrylic you'll know that we have to fold it all out of generally one piece okay so we're going to make some bent edges oh I might also get rid of the bottom I don't think we'll want the bottom on this unnecessary edges to bend Okay, I'm going to start up here. I'm going to go through and bend my edges. Now I do have some control over the bend radius. So let's have a look here. You can see it's putting it all together in one piece. And you can just see my original model in there. Now I can keep that, keep input parts if I want. Bend that. Notice how it put the clearance hole there. Bend it around here. And there we go. So now we've got what looks like a project. Just going to get back into a good view. And I'm going to shut that down for a little bit. And we need to put some other little features on there little tab so we can weld it together I'm going to do that this way I'm going to move a face and move that face and that face and you see how they popped out okay I'm going to bring them out 2.5 millimeters so they come out further okay and I'm going to tick that. Now I'm going to put a flange or a tab on that face. Oh, that's good. And that face there. I don't want them to be 25 mil though. I only need 10 mil. And while I'm at it, I might change the bend radius to 2. Looks a little bit neater. Okay, so we've got our tab a bit far away, but anyway, we've got our tab there. We tick it. We might be able to move it in, but probably not. Let's have a look. Move face. If I move it back, change it to two. No. So I change it. Keep that at two point five. 
Okay, let's go through it one more time on the other side. A little button over here called Move Face. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select the faces I want. So sorry, I just picked the wrong thing. Move Face. Zoom in this time, that one. That one. Bring them out, 2.5. Um, while I'm doing this, you can look at it over there. Okay, so they've come out. I want to now put my little tabs on there. So it doesn't matter whether you do the face or the edge. Do a face. Do a face. And it's doing our miters and everything for us. That's pretty cool. Um, 10 mil, usually make my tabs about 10 mil, and uh, we'll make the bend radius a bit tighter, 2 mil. Okay, so they appear down here, but I'd like, if it was me in the workshop, I'd cut those little corners off, so may as well do it while we're here. Um, this time I'm going to right click on there, new sketch. I won't bother aligning it. I'll just take a rectangle tool, go from that very corner there, bring it out here, and extrude it down to the next. Remove, tick, gone. And you saw it fix that up over there. Come over here, right click on there, new sketch, rectangle, this corner up here, Bring it down so it cuts the whole lot off. Remove it, change it again to next, so it goes basically to the next face or part or edge or whatever. And uh, tick that off. So it's done both of them. I'm going to then just go isometric, fit it on. Looks real nice. There's our project. We can zoom around there if we want and have a look. But beautiful. All done. Congratulations. You've made your first sheet metal part in a CAD program. Excellent work. Watch the video again. If you didn't get some things, remember to pause it, to rewind, to come in with questions. Okay, good luck with it.